I'm George Levy for Bits Online, where cryptocurrency and technology media meet the future. I'm at the North American Bitcoin Conference, and right now I'm with Gregory Gottman, a co-founder of Photon Network, a cloud infrastructure platform. And uh, you've been telling me about the platform. You're doing some very, very revolutionary things. Uh, when you were telling me that you were in the cloud space, I was thinking about cloud storage, I'm thinking AWS, but, uh, but you don't just limit yourself to that. Tell me more about your vision. Well, cloud storage will be like S3. Right, on, on AWS, right? AWS is the whole computing infrastructure, like it's cloud computing, it's uh, cloud storage. So we compete directly with AWS. We're Got building it. a decentralized cloud of cloud providers to compete with AWS. And what we do, what's so fascinating, is we provide the same quality of service as AWS, but at 50% less cost. Hmm. So cloud infrastructure is a $247 billion industry, huge margins in the space. AWS is the behemoth, they're the monopoly, they own it, no one compete with them. That's what we're going for, is competing with them by, uh, we have a solution that gets together all the other cloud providers, allows them to put their underutilized computing power that they have in data centers, telcos, ISPs, take that underutilized power, put it onto the Photon network, where we can allow them to sell it at a cheaper cost than AWS, and for end users to get a much cheaper product at the same quality. And you're doing all that on a blockchain? We're doing it all on a blockchain, yeah. We take all these other providers and we put their uh, services on a blockchain. Um, and that's the Photon Network. So the idea would be like, for example, when I'm working with AWS, I'd be working with Amazon. Is it centralized? They actually control this stuff. That's right. And the answer would be, if I actually were doing the equivalent on the Photon Network, I would actually be working across multiple providers. Right, And right. you would basically be able to decentralize and spread it across all of these. That's right, so we, what we do is we see who's the best provider for what you're looking to do in different regions. So the way that cloud really works is you might be working with uh, your accessing something in Miami and it's pulling from a server in the East Coast United States. Someone in the uh, West Coast is pulling from a server in the West Coast United States. Their server's in Japan, their server's in Australia, mm -hmm. London, right? And depending on how close you are or where you're located, you want to be closest to the server. That determines how latency is. When you open up your phone, you open up Facebook, if it takes like 10 seconds to load, that's because like you're not close enough to one of those data centers typically. It could also be the telco, but like a big thing is how close you are to the servers. So what we do is we make sure that anytime you deploy something on the Photon network, that you're uh, scaled globally across all these different providers, getting the best price possible for the different regions for what you're looking to do. It's a little complicated, there's a lot going on underneath the hood. We've been working on the technology for three years, how this all automates and orchestrates and the fault tolerance in the system. But for the most part, it's all abstracted from people. So all you know is you work with Photon and all this magic happens underneath the hood and the end result is that you save 50 to 80% on your cloud costs. And, and that makes sense to me. Instead of having to think all these different providers, you take care of actually matching them. And you do that using a token? Uh, the matching doesn't happen with a token. All the services on our, our network are governed by a token. Um, when you're working with all these different cloud providers and all these different currencies, uh, that's all governed by a token, so you don't have to do all this exchanging. Anytime a provider joins our, our Photon network, they have to stake a certain number of tokens. They have to go through an accreditation process too. So something very different from Photon from a lot of other decentralized infrastructure companies in the space is we're not fully, fully decentralized. We believe solutions right now, especially in infrastructure. In infrastructure, you can't have any latency. You can't have any unreliability, right? You can't go to my website and have my website be down or take 10 seconds to load, right? So a lot of these solutions in infrastructure like Filecoin, Seacoin, um, iExec, all this stuff, they're not really ready for enterprise grade solutions in cloud, right? <laughs> What companies want to work with is someone who can have their uptimes close to 100% and have like sub 50 millisecond load page times. So to do that properly, you have to work with data centers. You can't work with cell phones, you can't work with laptops. Bring this all back. Some stuff has to be centralized right now. Some stuff has to be distributed and some stuff has to be decentralized. And the winners in the space, especially in infrastructure, for some of these blockchain technologies are going to be the ones who figure out what goes where. So currently, as we're setting up, when cloud providers join our network, they have to get accredited. So what that means is, let's say you have a, uh, you're trying to run some HIPAA compliant data, right? Mm -hmm. If you're going to run HIPAA compliant data on a cloud that isn't HIPAA compliant, then you can go to jail. Absolutely. It's not a joke, mm -hmm. right? Infrastructure is not a joke. Um, and basically, we have to be, someone has to be very responsible for saying who these providers are on the network and what their security grades are. So we start that off with an accreditation process. The second thing that happens is when you choose to work with people on our network, we're not going to like completely 
decentralize you across like millions of, of phones and break apart your files so that it, it's sharded apart and then gets rebrought together which takes too much time. So what we do is we distribute you across different clouds. So no one cloud uh, controls all the other clouds. Your data can like uh, have a, a better fault tolerance than it would before. And no you can, single point of failure. No single point of failure, so. exactly. And you can also, uh, we, we can also manage kind of like the pricing of all these different clouds as long as you're getting the same quality of service. We focus on quality of service in our network. Um, and then what we decentralize is, you know, the order books. Make sure the pricing is transparent across everything. All the nodes in the network run our operating system. Everyone has full transparency into future cloud costs and previous cloud costs in the network. So when you come to us and you say you want to run a workload or whatever it is that you want to do, um, we can tell you a good estimate of what that's going to cost. So let me ask you a question uh, for the audience of Bits Online. If they want to find out more about Photon Network, so how could they learn? Photonnetwork.org. Um, www.photonnetwork.org. Uh, we have a white paper that we haven't released fully yet, but you can get to photonnetwork.org forward slash paper dot PDF. Mm -hmm. And if anyone wants to contact me, my email is gg at photonnetwork.org. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Gregory. I really yeah. appreciate it. Wish you the very best with, uh, with the platform. Thank very you. It's great to be here. Space. Yeah, looking forward to see you guys again in the future once we launch. Fantastic. For Bits Online, I'm George Levy. Thank you for watching. <laughs>